Hi guys, yo, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Olamide Alegoke. Um, I speak for relationship, marriage, motherhood, and Christian lifestyle. Today I'll be speaking on lessons we can learn from the life of Abigail. Right. So I want us to look at the life of Abigail in the Bible. We know that most people today bears Abigail, most people be Abigail because of her character. What are the lessons we can learn from our life? Okay, now, so our text is in book of 1 Samuel chapter 25. I like us to read um, this. Please, I'll be looking down, I'll be checking the Bible from my phone. Let's read from, from verse 1. Please read, you can read the whole chapter, but I'll be selecting some verses. So I'll start from verse 1. And Samuel died, and all the Israelites were gathered together and lamented. Him and buried him in his house at Ramah. And David arose and went down to the wilderness of Paran. There was a man in Moan whose possession were in Carmel, and the man was very great. And he had three thousand sheep and a thousand goats. He was sharing his sheep in Carmel. Now, verse 3. Now, the name of the man was Nava, and the name of his wife, Abigail. That was the first time we heard of the name Abigail in the Bible. Now look at her character. Number one, she was a woman of good understanding and of be beautiful countenance. Oh my God. Let me read that again. Abigail was a woman of good understanding and of a beautiful countenance. Dear lady, there are a lot of us that were so beautiful. You are, oh my God, when people see you without makeup, you look so beautiful. But do you have good understanding? Do you have wisdom? This woman was not only beautiful, but she had good understanding. And you could see that in her actions. When you read further, it got to a time that David needed the help of neighbor. And he, he requested for some, you know, just a little assistance, a little help. And this man, you know, rubbish David and his servant. But immediately this woman had Abigail. Let's go. Um, I want us to go straight away to uh, verse 14. And Nabal has rubbish David and the servant is sent to him. Now, verse 14. But one of the young men told Abigail, Nabal's wife, saying, Behold, David sent messengers out of the wilderness to salute our master, and he railed on them. He rubbished them. But the men were very good to us. You know, the, ma the servant was telling Abigail that this, the, 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 the men of David, they were, they've been so good to us, and the feed, they used to keep our sheep, they used to look after us. But your husband has rubbished them. Now that David need, needed help from us, your, you know, your husband rubbish them, and they were telling Abigail how good David and his men were to him. So then they were telling David how good, you know, they were telling Abigail how good David was to them, and you know, immediately Abigail heard this. Oh my goodness! Verse eighteen. Then Abigail made a and took 200 loaves and two bottles of wine and five sheep ready dressed and five mares of parched corn and a hundred cluster of raisins and 200 cakes of figs and laid them on us and she said unto her servants go on before me behold i come after you but she told not her husband oh my goodness look i want us to read for that verse 20, and it was so as she rode on the ass that she came down by the covert of the hill, and behold, David and his men came down against her, and she met them. And David was already planning to go and revenge and kill the family, you know, kill Laban and his family. But in verse, oh my God, in verse 20. Let's read verse 23. And um, Abigail saw David. She she hasted and lighted up the ass and fell before David on her face and bowed herself the ground and fell at his feet and said, Upon me, 
and bowed at his feet and said, Upon me, my Lord, upon me let this iniquity be. And let thy hand make, I pray thee, speak in thy audience, and hear the words of thy hand made. Oh my God, be a very wise woman. Oh, the Bible said that she had to understand it. Happy girl, bow to David. Don't forget at this point, David was still a nobody. He wasn't, you know, he was he was running here and there, you know. But this woman, you know, with her wisdom, she bowed down to david i was telling him good words sweet words i was telling him please let let me bear the pain let me bear the the punishment for what my husband has done to you and verse 25 she said let not my lord i pray thee regard this man of Belial." she knew that she married a stubborn man you know she she, she was like don't don't give regard to his words just look at me and you know she 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 prophesied she said good things about david i don't want to go into that that's what we are going but she 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 used her wisdom to win the heart of david you know the rest of the story eventually when david became king this woman was chosen as one of the queen i want to encourage you be a woman of good understanding. I don't know if you're the kind that you married a, the Bible called Nabal, a Scottish man, a foolish man, a hard man, a man that you're not proud of. I want to encourage you to be patient and use your wisdom. God will turn and change the heart of that man. God will come for you. And you will have joy. Just like happy girl, as a woman, we must be patient, we must be kind, we must show kindness to people. This woman showed kindness to David, even though she hasn't met with David before. She only had the report that David had been good to them. And she helped David. She said sweet words for David. She didn't allow her words to enter into her head. She was so kind to people. She, it, she was so kind to David. I want to encourage you to be kind. I want to encourage you to be a wise woman. I want to encourage you to be good to people, just like Abigail. God will surely reward you. Our reward came. She became a queen. Even though it wasn't planned, she became a queen. Your own day of glory will come. I want to encourage you, like Abigail, to be good to people. Show kindness to people. May the Lord help you. I wish you all. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share with someone. I'll see you again. I'll be your friend, Olandia. Have a good day. Bye.